Magnetic resonance imaging is designed to provide clinicians with versatile diagnostic imaging and treatment planning capabilities. It is an imaging tool used in many hospitals and imaging centers. This powerful technology requires operators and other personnel working with it to be aware of the associated safety hazards and take precautions to reduce these risks. This video presents an introduction to the safety hazards associated with the magnetic field. MR uses a powerful magnet to create images of the interior of the body. The magnet exerts forces that pose a risk of serious injury or death. Because the magnet is so powerful, precautions must be taken to prevent incidents. This video presents a brief introduction to the main magnetic field of MR systems, the associated potential hazards, the necessary precautions for reducing risk, appropriate actions to take in an emergency. The potential contraindications for patients are also presented. This video concludes with the appropriate magnetic field safety precautions. Introduction to the main magnetic field. The magnetic field attracts objects made of steel or other ferromagnetic materials with enormous force. This force is 30,000 to 60,000 times greater than the Earth's magnetic field. Even heavy objects can fly into the magnet. The magnetic field can also create torque or twisting forces on ferromagnetic objects. Objects such as some implants may experience torque due to the magnetic force potentially causing tissue damage. The magnetic field of an MRI system with a superconducting magnet is always on and must always be treated with caution. The main magnetic field is not completely contained within the bore of the magnet. All magnets are surrounded by a magnetic field, represented by the magnetic field lines. The magnetic attraction force varies around the scanner. The force is highest at the opening of the bore. More information regarding the field lines and attraction forces for different field strengths can be found in the technical description. During the site planning, a controlled access area around the MRI system is identified. Outside this area, the static magnetic field does not pose a hazard to the general public. Inside the controlled access area, there is a potential hazard. For most sites, the controlled access corresponds with the examination room. The examination room must be marked with the safety marking plate that includes the warning sign, Strong Magnetic Field. Potential Hazards Do not bring objects made of magnetic materials into the controlled access area. The magnetic attraction force pulls ferromagnetic objects towards the magnet. In this way, large metal objects, such as an oxygen tank or cleaning machine, can become powerful projectiles. Objects are pulled into the magnet at very high speeds, posing a significant risk to anyone in the trajectory of the object. Even small objects can become dangerous projectiles. An item such as a small paperclip or hairpin can easily reach speeds of 65 kilometers per hour or 40 miles per hour and higher when pulled into an MRI magnet and can cause serious damage or injury. Larger and heavier objects experience a stronger force, as attraction is roughly proportional to the mass of the object. The attraction force increases rapidly within a strong field gradient in the fringe field when you approach the magnet. An object that does not appear to demonstrate ferromagnetic properties may suddenly be pulled into the magnet as you take one step closer. The attraction force experienced increases exponentially when approaching the magnet. The magnetic field also twists ferromagnetic objects to align with the direction of the magnetic field. The twisting or torque forces can be dangerous to patients with ferromagnetic implants because this force can displace the implant, tearing tissue or rupturing blood vessels. Brain aneurysm clips are particularly at risk from this effect. 
The magnetic field can also affect the operation of active implants, such as pacemakers and deep brain stimulators. In general, any person with these devices is not allowed into the MR examination room, unless the device is explicitly marked MR conditional by their manufacturer and the specified restrictions are known and can be met. Therefore, anyone who enters the examination room must be screened for risk factors. The magnetic field can damage watches and cell phones and erase data from credit cards, security badges and data storage devices. Reducing risk. To keep your MR suite safe, establish and adhere to these precautions. Observe the warning signs posted to alert everyone entering the restricted area of the MRI suite. Protect the examination room with both administrative and physical barriers. Know the location of the controlled access area where only screened and approved items and people can enter. Screen everyone who enters the MR suite and make sure they follow the MR safety guidelines for their own safety and the safety of others. Establish a screening procedure for all people and items entering the examination room. The establishment of such a screening procedure is one of the most critical components of an MR safety program. Auxiliary medical devices must also be screened and approved for use in the environment. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. Remember, screening is not only for patients and the medical staff, but also for cleaners, service engineers, medical and non-medical emergency personnel, including firefighters and anyone else who might possibly enter the MR suite. Screen everyone for ferromagnetic objects in, on, or attached to their bodies. Screen for implants, bullets, shrapnel, and metal in the eyes and screen everyone for metal on or attached to their bodies, such as hairpins, brassieres, buttons, zippers, jewelry, and body piercings. Even makeup and tattoos can contain ferromagnetic material. Patients should remove all cosmetics containing metallic particles and be alert to the possibility of irritation in tattoos. Ensure that patients wear only cotton or linen or provide hospital gowns without metallic fasteners. Patients' ordinary clothing can contain magnetic objects or synthetic fiber that may pose a hazard in the MR environment. Also, screen medical personnel to ensure that the common items such as clipboard, stethoscope, scissors, pens, and other items are not brought into the examination room. All equipment brought into the MR suite must be made of a non-ferromagnetic material and approved for use in an MR suite and be marked with an MR safe or MR conditional label. The tools used by service engineers must also be made of special non-magnetic material. Note that equipment or tools which have been approved for use with magnets of 1.5 Tesla may not be approved for use for 3 Tesla magnets because of the higher forces at this field strength. Emergencies The Emergency Magnet Off button is used to quickly ramp down the magnet in an emergency. This will remove the main magnetic field within about 20 seconds. The Emergency Magnet Off button should only be used when immediate removal of the main magnetic field is required, such as when a person is trapped by an object that is attracted by the magnet, a fire, or another event occurs that requires immediate entry of emergency personnel or equipment into the examination room. For medical emergencies, such as a cardiac arrest, a procedure must be in place to quickly remove the patient from the examination room for treatment. For other events where non-urgent removal of the static magnetic field is required, a controlled ramp-down is performed. A controlled ramp-down is used when an item is attracted and stuck to the magnet and needs to be removed. Systems with a Philips Blue Seal magnet and Easy Switch can be de-energized and re-energized in a controlled way by a trained user. This controlled ramp-down can be performed when the circumstances do not require an emergency response. For example, if an object is attracted to the system and there is no risk of injury, or in the event of a potential weather emergency, such as a hurricane or flood. Systems without a Blue Seal magnet and Easy Switch require support from a field service engineer to perform a controlled ramp down. Contraindications 
Contraindications are conditions that might pose a hazard to the patient. They must be assessed by a qualified person prior to the examination. Some ferromagnetic implants, such as aneurysm clips, and electronically active implants, such as pacemakers and deep brain stimulators, are in principle contraindications for MR scanning. There is also a risk in scanning patients who may have embedded microscopic pieces of metal in or near the eye. If there is a suspicion of accidentally embedded metallic fragments, always check with an X-ray before the MRI examination. For patients with contraindications, a qualified physician must evaluate whether the benefit of the MRI scan outweighs the potential risk. The same applies to pregnant patients and patients with other risk factors. Magnetic field safety precautions. Tens of millions of MR examinations are performed annually. No long-term negative health effects related to the static magnetic field have ever been scientifically established. The industry continues to monitor and study possible long-term effects. Precautions and strict access control are essential for maintaining a safe environment for patients and staff. Remember the following points. The magnetic field around the magnet is always on. The magnetic force increases rapidly close to the scanner. All personnel must know the location and extent of the controlled access area. Never bring ferromagnetic objects within the controlled access area. All equipment in the MR examination room must be labeled as MR safe or MR conditional. Warning signs must be clearly posted. All persons must be screened before entering the MR suite. Contraindications must be assessed by an appropriately qualified person. Only press the emergency magnet off button when a person is trapped. This video highlights some of the essential guidelines for maintaining a safe MRI environment. In addition to this, you must read and understand the Instructions for Use Safety Chapter. For information about the magnetic field around the magnet, consult the technical description. If there is content that is not clear to you, please contact your local physicist or Philips application specialist. When the appropriate safety precautions as presented in the instructions for use are observed and the system is operated by qualified and trained personnel, MRI is a safe modality producing images of outstanding clinical value.